Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we got ourselves another unboxing. Let's see what's in the box. In this box is a G&L Tribute LB100. Now I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys to take a look at some more G&L Tribute bases and G&L USA bases. And today, we got ourselves another tribute. Now, I've been really intrigued with the Tribute series in the past, and I gave a very positive review to the GNL Tribute Fallout base, which is their short scale, sized like a normal scale base, though. That was a very interesting instrument. However, today we're looking at something a bit more traditional. This is going to be the LB100 P base. We're going to be doing a separate video seeing how this base stacks up to all our other P bases that we have in my stable. But for now, let's go ahead and unbox this and give our first impressions. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my handle turn back to normal. Thanks. Looks like we got ourselves a nice G&L gig bag here. This was crammed in the box, however the base was not inside it. Instead, the base is inside a box, inside this box. So we got a triple box scenario going on here. This is very well packed. And let's take a look inside here. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Here we go. Here we have it. The G&L LB100 Tribute Series in natural. Just flip it around. Very nice. At first glance, this is a very, very nice offering. The neck here is a full gloss. We have a gloss finish on the back of the neck as well as on the fingerboard. The body is full gloss as well with this natural finish. The tuners and bridge are GNL's own in-house hardware, very high quality. This is essentially a very traditional P-Base. We have a split coil pickup here paired to a master volume and master tone control, and that's pretty much it. Now this base is string through bridge only. There is no string through body option here. It looks like we have 21 frets, one more than the traditional fender count of 20. So we have a little bit of extra range here, but let's see how this thing sounds. Okay, upon plugging it in, it looks like we do have a little bit of uh, grounding noise going on here. A little bit of buzz when I let go of the strings. Um, let's see how the pickup is. Get a little bit of hum when touching the poles with the pickup here. Now let's tune this bass up real quick. Not too bad. This is a very, very clear sounding instrument. Uh, this is a fat sounding P with a lot of high end as well. So it's a very articulate and clear sounding bass. Turn the tone down to about 50%, see what we get there. Now this is strung with the stock Daddario strings that came with the bass. Uh, I haven't restrung this with the MJCs yet, but that'll be coming for the full review. And finally, let's turn the tone down all the way. Now let's 
turn the tone all the way back up. See how it slaps real quick. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad at all. So off the bat, again, I do notice a little bit of grounding hum when you're not touching the strings. That means that this could probably be a little bit better shielded and grounded. We did do a separate video on the Charvel Sandimus and addressing the noise issue there. That same fix can be applied here, though obviously we don't have an active preamp, but the same sort of shielding and grounding can be applied to reduce that grounding hum. So you can actually not touch the strings without having to worry about any buzz. Well, there we have it, my unboxing and first look at the GNL Tribute LD100. The GNL P Bass. Let me know what you guys think in the description below. We are going to be doing a full review on this bass as well as doing a separate P Bass head to head, looking at all the different P Basses at different price points and seeing which one is going to be the best bang for your buck. So keep an eye out for that video as well. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the GNL LB100. And as always, until we groove again.